Tonight, we've got a musical legend on the show. Luckily, we've got a very musical audience. So let's warm up. Off you go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. Welcome all the Everyone got the Olympic tickets they wanted. Yeah. They did? Oh, I did as well. Yes. On the first day of the Olympics, I've got a ticket to Miami. And, <laughs> and on the last day, I've got one back. Brilliant. <laughs> and listen, what a lineup we've got for you tonight. My all time favorite musical superstar, Liza Minnelli. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she is here. British actor and Hollywood star James McAvoy is here. I know, I know. And sour face funny man Jack D is here. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, James McAvoy, don't you know, he's about to appear in the new X Men film. Mmm. <sighs> I love all the X-Men characters. I do. The indestructible Wolverine, the Temptress Storm, oh, and the Essex Skank. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. The BAFTA award-winning Essex <laughs> Skank. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Mm. Uh, James, James played Idi Amin's doctor in The Last King of Scotland. Yeah. Ooh, I tell you, that, that is a big sparring, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Idi Amin, you do think, has the world ever seen a more ruthless, power crazed dictator? <laughs> <laughs> I know, really. <laughs> the next I World Cup, it go to Narnia. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, thrilled, thrilled to welcome back the great Liza Minnelli. Over the years, Eliza appeared with all the greats, uh, Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> we all remember Eliza's iconic Oscar-winning performance in Cabaret, set in pre-war Berlin. Here she is. Oh, is that a, is that a Hitler moustache I can see? Uh, <laughs> I, I have to say, I have to say, that is a very sexy look. Very sexy look. And uh, who wouldn't look sexy in a bowler hat? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Raunchy Cabaret Club is very popular entertainment in Germany. Yeah. In Britain, we get this. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Is it Matt Lucas playing a Yamaha organ? What the hell is it? <laughs> and she's one of the good ones. <laughs> Have you been watching Britain's Run Out of Talent? Have you? <laughs> Have you? <laughs> Simon Cowell, uh, back for the semi-finals. Do you know, Cheryl Cole actually went to the studio to patch things up with him. She did. Oh, look, she looks very excited. Wonder what she's like behind her back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some guests on! He's an eyeball, he's lovely, he's Jack D! Hello, <laughs> 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 sir, take the job down. He's got the Professor X Factor, it's James McAvoy! Hello, sir. How are you? Who's the clown? Are you? Fuck up a bit. Fuck up a bit. Fuck up a bit. Fuck up a bit. And it's legend with an L. Please welcome the one, the only, Liza Minnelli! Can I just say, Liza, I'm so thrilled to see you looking so well. Oh, I feel great, thank you. Because you had a, was it a knee you had replaced? Oh, yes, I've had everything replaced. <laughs> <laughs> but the knee was tough. 
Yeah. That's harder than the hip. You know, the hip is a snap compared to the knee. But you get through it. But are you, like, are you in pain now? No. No. So you're good? I'm sitting down. <laughs> yeah. you, you set off alarms and things. Oh, honey, everything goes off at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> that is because of the drugs and the crack cocaine that you Oh, yes. <laughs> To share it. I was hoping you could fix me up. <laughs> but now, are you big, big Liza fan? You must I'd say, be. I'd say yes. so. Who is it? Who is it? Exactly. Oh exactly. As much as I'm very excited to be here with Jack, I have to oh, say yeah. I'm excited more so to be here with Liza. Or you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm glad to be here because my my uh, my sons went to see X Men today. And uh, as they were leaving, they said, eh, you're going to go to work, you, we're going to see X-Men. I said, yeah, but I'm going to work with James McAvoy tonight. So uh, that just spoiled their evening. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're probably not in game. Now, Liza Minnelli, you are unstoppable. Because, I mean, listen, things have, you know, you've had your knee, you've had the hips, you yeah. had the scare with the, the brain thing, you've oh, had yeah. uh, personal tragedies, all sorts. But nothing stops you. You're now back, you've got a new album mm -hmm. and a tour. Uh, I, in fact, I, I say you have a new album. I have your new album. Uh, you do, do Yes. Now, I apologise, I sat on it earlier and it's a bit broken. <laughs> uh, if, if you buy it, it doesn't come like this. Uh, you, you sat will... on Liza's face? Yes, I did. Oh, my God. <laughs> Her expression. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Liza, I, I have to apologise, Liza. You come over to this country and you get treated like that. Graham, Graham yeah. sells he's out of his garage. <laughs> so this is it, what it was. What's that about, where did tell us where you recorded it? In bed. Yeah. Recording? Yeah. Wowza. What, you, you turned your bed into like a recording studio? Well, I had to lie there because I was having my knee replaced, right? So you had to stay off your knee for like three weeks before. And I th was going nuts. I thought, I'm, I have uh, to be in bed like six weeks? That's horrifying to not move around. And I, so I thought, well, what can I do? So I called Billy Stritch. And I said, what do you want to do? He said, well, we can make an album just for us. And I said, yeah, that'd be fun. I mean, the last albums I've had have always been on stage. And I'm going, whoa! You know? So we made an intimate album, truly. Because you have kind of soirees in your house, don't you? Yeah, and I have friends come over on Sunday night, and there's no pressure. You know, you just have something to eat, and usually end up around the piano. And people can literally sing for the music, for themselves. Are your friends all singers, too? Or... Because I've got to say, like, if you invited me over and you invited me to sing in your living room, I'd be mm. hugely intimidated to sing in front of you. Yeah. Well, then I wouldn't invite you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd invite you in a second. Because not everybody's a singer. Yeah, I mean, that's people what I do mean. different things. Yeah, but yeah. if you invite someone over and say, come over to my house, no pressure, that would make me suspicious straight away. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say that, though. Oh, you don't say that. Okay. People I know and, and people that... There's, there is no pressure. It does sound nice, the idea of just working from your bedroom, doesn't it? Mm. It's yeah. lovely. <laughs> well, no, not in that way, obviously. But, yeah, just, you know, yeah, be nice. Uh, now, listen, uh, you're, you're going to be singing um, a song from the album later, and if people want to see you, very excited, again, with the not stopping, you're back on tour. Is it this month you start at the Royal Albert Hall? Yes. And then you do various dates in Britain, right. then around Europe, Yes. And then you end up in Vegas. Yes. <laughs> you looked on doubtful then, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> no, but... Now, this may go nowhere, but if I say the words Elvis and karate to you, Liza, yes. does that mean anything to you? Yeah. Oh, it does? Oh, yeah. good. Oh, tell all. Well, he liked to do it. He loved karate. Yes. And um, his moves on stage um, later on came from karate, and he, just, he was just really into it. I met him in Las Vegas. Um, I had two dancers in my show, two beautiful lady dancers. It was us three women. I hear I'm you. I'm all <laughs> And uh, he, I think he kind of liked one of those ladies. Mm -hmm. So he came backstage and said, can I watch the show for a I said, sure. And he watched and everything, and then he invited us all over. And we went over to this spectacular, I mean, I've never seen a space like that. His suite, it was just incredible, incredible. And um, 
we're kind of sitting there. I'm next to Alice Cooper. Wow. We're sitting there. And, uh, what a random, oh, no. random oh, group of people. <laughs> Chubby checkers. <laughs> Alice Cooper. Um, some porn star. I, I can't remember some which star. one. Some really, you know, right at the moment. A good one. Uh, it was Linda well, Lovelace, was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. That's it. She's told me the story. Was, was there a deadpan British comedian as well? <laughs> oh, yeah! But we're all just kind of sitting there, and he's disappeared, so we're kind of trying to chat, and suddenly, the door flies open, and I hear, hi-ya! <laughs> and he's in the room, in full, you know, dress. Yeah. Hi-ya! 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 And then, it was like the Peter Sellers movie, where the guy comes out of the closet to fight him, you know. <laughs> yeah. And he, suddenly, some guy, I guess his teacher, you heard, Fire! and he came from over here. <laughs> and all of us are going, gee, that's great. <laughs> wow. Did you do this every night? You know, what do you say? It was just, I couldn't believe it. I love your life. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I've got to say, if I, if I was Elvis Presley, I think that would be my chat-up strategy. <laughs> my name's Elvis. I don't, I don't think I bother with the kung fu bit or learning martial arts. I'm Elvis. Yeah, do come in. End <laughs> all. Forget it. He was a nice man. Yeah, yeah. well, so am I. <laughs> The other exciting news, and is this, I, I don't, I mean, it was well publicized, so I think I can say that you had, you turned 65 this year. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! Social, social security. I know! <laughs> Free travel! Some help. We might, you might realize yeah. on the bus on the way home. <laughs> 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 and how did you celebrate? How does a legend celebrate becoming 65? I just had uh, some friends took me to dinner. Okay. We had a nice, nice time. And is there a special friend on the go at the moment? Oh, you mean? You know, you stepping out? <laughs> uh, yes. Ooh. Oh, I'm not telling you. No, but we used it. That's fabulous. Well, you know what I figured? Well, when you hit 65, and you've been through as many marriages as I have. I mean, please, my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I figured. You should know a really wealthy older man. This hasn't happened, but this is my dream. A really wealthy older man who's terribly charming, who takes you wonderful places and pays for everything. Then some vital, vital like 50 or 40 year old, who's just, I don't care if he's a scientist, but he's crazy about what he does. And then somebody whose name you don't know, who you see twice a week. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> now, Liza, yes. many of uh, your fans have made their way in here tonight. And uh, believe it or not, uh, one of your fans is a man and uh, he lives in Amsterdam. <laughs> we can't draw conclusions, Liza, but those are the facts. <laughs> uh, uh, where, where is that man? Is it Chris? Hi, Graham. Hello, sir. What's your name now? My surname is Cockhill. Chris Cockhill. <laughs> And it's not like Cock Hill. No. It's not a hill of cock. No, not it's a hill. It's Cock <laughs> Hill. Like yeah. a sick cock. Yeah. yeah. You said it. You said it. But, I mean, that must have been awful growing up. Yeah. Chris Cock Hill. Yeah. Oh, best. <laughs> but now, Chris is a very talented person. This, you'll be impressed by this. Yeah. He has fashioned a likeness of you. So if you could hand in uh, the likeness. This is really good. It's, it's a puppet of you. Ooh. And now, Chris, by the way, Chris said this isn't a gift. Uh, he's yeah. just showing it to you. Yeah. He's just showing it to you. Uh, but, oh, that's... it's great. I wish I looked that good. You do. <laughs> but look, it's, yeah. it, is that now? Let me just. Oh, yes, look, I can do that. Oh, oh, oh wow. <laughs> look, good. Look, look at that. that. And, then, and then that's arms, I believe. There's arms. Oh, that's so... uh, where are the, And these are the legs. Oh, man! Yeah, so if I do that That's and that, look, look at that, you're having a rave in it. <laughs> That's, that, and now, now, this is good. Wait, 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 look. Uh-oh. I commissioned a small chair. Uh-huh. 
So we can do like scenes from Cabaret. <laughs> can I do, you know that, uh, should we put the lights down? Should we put the lights down? Look at that, look at that. See, there you are, look at that. Oh. 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 I'm so good at this. Oh, I'm so good at this. Oh. Now. Yes? Pick up the leg and put it over the chair. Yes, I will. Hang on, what's the leg? Uh, that's leg. It's one leg's gonna go. There we go. Hello. There she goes. That was the first tip. <laughs> Great. Isn't that really good? God, that's great. So much effort gone into that. It is time. beautiful. It yeah. is beautiful. Look at that nose. Mm. I wish my nose looked that. Look, you look gorgeous. Look at your there. So, Chris, how long ago were you in prison? Is this the second one you made? Yeah. Well, I first saw Lies Alive in 1978 at the London Palladium. I've been a fan since Lies with a Z. And oh, uh, you. you were so fantastic. You really were. I mean, I was blown away. I was yeah. 20, and I just thought, I got to make a puppet of you. I just got to make a puppet of you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a clear link. Nobody has ever said that to me before. Well, <laughs> it's a first. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. It's an unusual response to a performance you've enjoyed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go home and make a puppet of that lady. <laughs> but we're glad you did. It's very, very lovely. What? Can it lie down now? Yeah, no problem. No, don't look, look away Careful. now. This could upset you. <laughs> if it's a voodoo doll. <laughs> 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 anyway, we'll draw there. Uh, right. I'll put. Kind of looks like it's about to record an album now. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Any minute now. Now sing. <laughs> 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 don't waste your time. I'll sit close by. Uh, very moving, that. Very moving. You could make you cry. Do you know who could make cry? Who? James McAvoy. Can I make Liza cry? No. Well, you can make yourself oh, cry. Oh, yeah, you can make. Oh, on occasion, I've made myself I cry. Think yes. make, I think you cry on cue, which uh, I, I, that, that must be like Oscar waiting to happen. <laughs> because it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you know. You can be like, yeah, yeah, oh look, I'm crying. You know what this scene's all about? I know. I'll cry. Sometimes, like generally, I can do it when I need to do it. Every and now and again, I've had the old kind of need to get the tweezers out and do the Joey Tribbiani trick. Ooh. What's yeah. that? That's where you, you put your hands in your pockets with a pair of tweezers and pull pubic hair out. <laughs> can we say pubic hair? Yes, we can. <laughs> Uh, no, so, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Generally, I can do it when I need to do it. Was that something you learned how to do when you were a kid? I learned how to do it, um... Not the pubic hair, obviously. You didn't have any, but... Uh, <laughs> I only got pubic hair at the age of 25, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, I sent away from it. Uh, <laughs> puppeteer in, in Holland made it for me. Um, <laughs> this is a weird... Uh, just uh, all strings. <laughs> strings. I can do amazing things with... Yeah, if I pull that, pubic hair might... <laughs> wow. The, kind of, the thought process that took me to pubic hair <laughs> and pulling my leg up was nearly as weird as the thought process that led you to worship Liza Minnelli and then make a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> but when you were young, you must have been good because you gave an amazing performance to, was it your, your sister? When, were you eight or something? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah this is was, good. This is, I don't know how this you is did nasty, it. nasty, is what <laughs> it is. It's nasty, but it's good. Yeah. When I was eight years old, we were playing hide and seek, and I went up to the top flat of the house, and, um, and I hid in a cupboard. My sister caught me like that. Joy, if you're watching, I love you loads. And, uh, and I was really annoyed that she caught me. And I was quite nasty to my sister when we were younger. We're well, not anymore. And uh, she opened the door and went, ah, I've caught you, I've caught you, you're it. I went, no. No, no, I'm not. And she went, what do you mean, what do you mean, I've caught you, I've caught you? I says, no, you haven't. What you've actually found is James's spirit. James is dead. <laughs> <laughs> James died, and, uh, and I'm his spirit. And I'm, and I'm here to tell you that you haven't found me. And, uh, <laughs> and then she ran away crying. I know, boo, you must boo. And, um, and then she ran downstairs and told my grandmother that James was dead. Oh. And, uh, and my grandmother came upstairs, like, breaking her heart, really, really upset. And then she saw me standing at the top of the stairs with a big kind of shit and grin on my face. <laughs> and uh, I think she took her high heel shoe off and threw it at me. <laughs> and she started calling me for what me, hanging on and on. And, um, yeah, I was in deep shit for quite a while after that. Yeah. <laughs> but you turned it into a career. So I it's turned it into a career, yeah. yeah. And I've died in a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got that early practicing. Uh, well, listen, uh, nothing has held you back because you're currently starring in the biggest movie on the planet, 
X-Men First Class. X-Men. It's out now. Uh, yes. I know that because uh, Jack's children yeah. were seeing it. Uh, now, are you familiar what? with X-Men? Oh, yeah. Okay, you see. Oh, yeah. This is a prequel. This is, am I right? You, yeah. yeah, you are right. Yes. Yeah, I've seen it, so yeah. I should know. But, uh, so, <laughs> uh, but rather than me talk about it. Uh, tell you, go on. Talk us through the premise. Talk us through the premise. All right. Uh, the year is 1962. Mm -hmm. uh, mutant doesn't mean... Hugh Jackman or Patrick Stewart or any of these things yet, <laughs> uh, it, or Brotherhood or a different part or subsection of humanity. It's just a kind of medical name for something is wrong with you. Uh, and there's all these people all over the world who have something wrong with them, they think. Uh, but they haven't joined up yet and they don't know that there's other people out there with something wrong with them. Anyway, they get together and they start to realise there's not something wrong with us, there's something right with us and we're special and we're in the next stage of evolution and all of that. And then, shortly after finding that there's more of them out there, they, they get charged with saving the world from nuclear annihilation. And that's pretty much the film, yeah. with a few laughs thrown in. <laughs> <laughs> you're Professor... Professor. You're Professor X. Professor X. <laughs> Professor X. Professor <laughs> 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 No more to drink tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not in a, a wheelchair at this point. No, uh, in the other films, Patrick, Sir Patrick Stewart plays him in a wheelchair. Um, crazy character choice, but I haven't done that in this film because, you know, one of the good things about doing a prequel is that you get to explain why people are the way they are, why they're funny, why they're strange, why they're evil, why they're good, why they're in a wheelchair, why they have no hair, why whatever, you know? But you're and, still, um, you're still, even though you're not, you're not really as kick-ass as everyone else. Unfortunately, no. I mean, it's a big summer blockbuster action movie, don't get me wrong. It's just that the other cast get to do all the ninja action stuff, and I'm pretty much sitting there behind a desk <laughs> like this. <laughs> That's my special move. I mean. it's not very Did it good. take long to come up with your special move? I spent about three months in a Shaolin camp in Dagenham. <laughs> <laughs> Working with some Shaolin monk ninja commandos. And, uh, and it, was, it was deemed by them that I had attained a certain level of zen that I was allowed to use that special move. Because you could have gone with two. But I could have gone with two, but then I'd have mind-bended you so hard that, um, <laughs> that you wouldn't know what hit you till next week. I'm doing that. Did you start to believe it? Did you ever... Believe that I could bend your mind? Well, no, that you could, you know, did, you must... Did you practice, you know, when you're waiting? You've got to, hang on, I'll try and read your mind. Did you... Well, when I was a kid, right, <laughs> uh, I used to sit there, like, looking the cat in the eye and just going, move. <laughs> move. And, um, and every now and again, you know, after half an hour, it would eventually move, and I'd be like, <laughs> Oh, my mutant! Um, so, uh, yeah, never when I made the film, but when I was a kid, I used to believe that I could, I could bend your cat. <laughs> if, I do, if I do kind of a telepathy chat, if I try to send you a question, can you try and send me an answer? I'm just going to send it. Uh, yeah, you don't right. answer it. Okay. Okay. Okay, go. Okay, okay. okay. You need to do the finger thing. Oh, yeah, oh, Have you worry. had the training? Not, not as much as you. Okay. I, I've just had a night. Be school. careful. Have you warmed up? <laughs> you warm your fingers up, man. They're warm. You don't know what you're messing with, Graham. You don't know what you're messing with. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Have you said it back? No, I'm just contemplating okay. my answer. Okay. But you knew that. I knew that. I got it. Go on. Yeah, okay. This is a three way mind bend. <laughs> Can I try? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, it's strong. Oh. I'm getting for sales dial one. <laughs> <laughs> did you send me an answer? I did. I, well, was listen, it brown? By the time we were finished, it would have been. <laughs> I just read your mind and I didn't like it. <laughs> oh, I, I'm getting, I'm getting one, one more thing from Jack. What's that, Jack? You'd, you'd like me to mention the new series of Lead Balloon on BBC <laughs> Two uh, t Tuesdays at ten o'clock. You're, you're talking to me like I'm sooty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
What's that you say, Sooty? You want me to mention the new program? <laughs> <laughs> no, congratulations. Uh, this is series four? Uh, yeah, it is, yes, yes. And typical lazy writing performer, you've already said, oh, this is the last ever series. Why don't you want to write some more? Yes. Well, I, uh, I'm not lazy. God, you know, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm just sitting on a couch with people who work in bed and, <laughs> and do that for a living. <laughs> I go out. Yeah. You're a Tory. Yeah, I'm, 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 out, I'm out there. But, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, you know, it's very time consuming. And, and uh, like, like anyone in this business, you want to do different things, don't you, all the time? It's good fun yeah. to, to vary. Yeah. I've loved, I love doing it, and it is a lot of fun, but I have other things I want to do. Oh, fair enough. Well, listen, uh, episode one's got out. Episode two uh, is next Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, we've got a clip. Does it need setting up? It's. I think uh, the clip you're showing, Rick, uh, the character I play, Rick Spleen, uh, is now working at a, at a shopping channel. Things have got that bad. And uh, he's a presenter on a shopping channel. And um, uh, the, uh, the main presenter has died. Uh, and, and Rick is uh, secretly rather thrilled because he, he gets taken on. OK, here's the clip. We would like to say a very big thank you to those of you who have been kind enough to send us messages of condolence. It's been a great source of comfort to us at this very difficult time, so thank you. Yes, now, we've been thinking about how Daryl would most like to be remembered, and we're very proud to announce that Bargain Channel viewers will have the exclusive opportunity to purchase this special commemorative plate. Yes. <laughs> it's inscribed really rather beautifully with his birth date and the date of his sad passing. And in the centrepiece, we have an incredibly lifelike portrait of Daryl. Uh, a special memento of a special man. At a very special price, £14.99, lines are open 0801 570 570. Is it true? You do what? You love. Oh, you I love. like. I think they're addictive. Those uh, those shopping channel programs. Uh, I think if you you know anyone who ever stays in a hotel, ha get, you know, gets hooked into that straight away. You just turn the telly on. It's, it seems to be always be shopping channel, and I I can't stop watching. I'll be there for an hour watching some guy wax his car, and just thinking this is the best telly I've ever watched. <laughs> <laughs> when you're watching someone wax his car, and you actually watching a different pay per view channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay, there is, there's other stuff going on. <laughs> Now, have you seen Liza? Because you do it, don't you? Yes, I did a whole line of clothes. Do you? You've got your own yeah. line of clothes. Wowza. Yeah, I, I, I did it for QVC. And you designed them while you were in bed. Well, I had nothing else to do. <laughs> you were recording an album. I'm not talking about my sex life. But <laughs> I thought I could do something else. And was it hard work? Because I always think that looks really hard, the oh, sitting yeah. there talking about it for a long time. Horrifying. <laughs> That's really horrifying. Because you must run out of things to say. I, I watched it on uh, a similar channel in Australia, actually. And oh. the, item, the item they were selling was known, it was called the Pet Mitt. And it was all it was, a stupid little plastic glove you put on that's slightly ruffled. This is ruffled, not mine. So no. you could... No, 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 It wasn't the Liza Minnelli <laughs> Pet Mitt, you know. <laughs> like, you stroke your dog and it sings. <laughs> 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 Um, the dancing party. But they were clearly, it was obvious that this guy was, was, uh, was being told uh, just to keep talking because it was live on air. And he was saying, yeah, your, your, your pet dog's going to love that. Look at that. You can just, just stroke him like that. And, and obviously someone was going. <laughs> so he just, he started going, and, you know, it doesn't have to be a dog. If you don't have a dog, you can, you can do it to your cat as well. And uh, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> or if you've got a horse, you can do it with a horse. <laughs> or, a, or a donkey could be pretty good. <laughs> He's sweat and paper and everything. A mule, whatever. You can... Ostriches. <laughs> Get yourself a kangaroo. <laughs> Just buy a pet mitt and go straight something. <laughs> That's great. That's half an hour. And watching their balloon, I mean, because obviously Rick Spleen is... It's... It's you. Oh, thank ish. you. Yeah, he's a failed comedian. Oh, well, no, right. yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Bits of it are quite Of you. course, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah, I was taken from, from <laughs> me and... Uh, experience in life because you must have had moments we've all had moments of disillusionment where you kind of think you know this is what i'm doing now because uh, i did was it did you host the caravan awards <laughs> <laughs> yeah i've done uh i've done that <laughs> i did 
did do the National Caravan Awards, and, uh, and uh, the, you're, you're just giving, you know, but it's, a, it's awards for, you know, best design of step, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know uh, yeah, best chemical toilet. Get best chemical toilet, <laughs> best pump, and oh. uh, best... Uh, <laughs> and get, <laughs> There's one company out there that's actually uh, described on the night as uh, number two in caravans. <laughs> <laughs> you got to feel that's best avoided, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> something you get on YouTube. Yeah. You just put that in. <laughs> number two in caravan, you'll get yeah. 4,000 hits. <laughs> but talking of awards, uh, moving down the couch, uh, James, oh. you. Did you ever run in with Will Smith? When, was that the night you were nominated for an Oscar? I've never been nominated for an Oscar. Uh, you were robbed! I was robbed, I tell you. <laughs> uh, no, I presented at the Oscars, though. OK. And that year they said, since you're presenting at the Oscars, would you like to come along to the Oscar party? And I was like, totally! Uh, <laughs> hi! Uh, and we met lots of people off the telly, <laughs> which was fantastic. Um, but, like, proper people off the telly, Americans, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Not as well. <laughs> When I was growing up, when I went to drama school, I was an 18 year old, and I'd be sitting there in drama school and going, oh My God, you're American. You're not even off the telly, you're just American. Mm. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so there's something weird about it in your head with Americans, they just seem more legit. Uh, anyway, <laughs> as those big guys that you meet, do you know what I mean? You go, Oh, he's a star, and he's American. It's the double whammy. Yeah, keep um, digging, keep digging. So I keep going. <laughs> and they're not Jack D, it's even better. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, no, we bumped into uh, Will Smith, and, and I've done this a few times in my career. You notice them from the television. Your brain and your eyes recognise them before your consciousness kind of goes, but you don't know them. And so you go, hey, how are you doing? You all right, man? Yeah, nice yeah. to see you. And we both did the exact same thing to each other and then realised that we hadn't, in fact, met each other. So we kind of, like, pretended to high-five and hug, and, and then we both went, oh, this is a thing people are watching now, so we kind of, like, wrestled a little bit. And then before we knew it, we were sort of, like, on top of each other on the ground, taking the joke to extremes. <laughs> um, to the point where people had started to walk away and just be like, <laughs> just sit. And then we stood up, kind of going, oh, that was fun, wasn't it? And he looked at his wife, and I looked at my wife, and both of us <laughs> knew that we were dicks. <laughs> When it comes to awards, no one can top you, lady. You are one of those really, really rare things. Uh, you're an EGOT. An EGOT, you know, an Emmy, a Grammy. Oh, uh, oh I was wondering Oscar. what that was. I'm going. Yeah, no. Who <laughs> else know you're an EGOT? Who's the C? A Tony. A Tony. A Tony, of course. Yeah. yeah. I, I've, I've, I've done caravan awards <laughs> under. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, there are only, only 12 people have ever been. Any god, and only five <laughs> are still alive. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Three. <laughs> well, we better hurry up uh, because uh, time has come for some music. Oh. Uh, yes. uh, uh, what? What? What are you giving us off the new album? Well, there was this song that I found that w it was written in 1928, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's, it, it, you don't have to pay for it because it's in public to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think of these things. Loving it. I love it. <laughs> and uh, the words are so wonderful. And they're by Dorothy Fields, oh, okay. who is great. And it's just, it's just the, the way that this thought is, is brought up and the way she rhymes the words and puts them together. So I, I thought I'd do, I must have that man. <laughs> I know. Uh, listen, before we uh, go tonight, uh, we just let uh, <coughs> see who's in the. You're right, darling. You're mm -hmm. right, yeah. Get it down, yeah. Uh, let's see. Stop it! <laughs> uh, let's see who's in the red chair. Uh, who's up first? Who's up first? Hello, nice lady. Hello. Uh, oh, sister, loving you. And what's your, what's your name? It's Susie. Susie? And uh, what do you do, Susie? I'm a chess specialist nurse, actually, what's Grace. This? Where are you from? What, what's you, this? What, what, what's happened? I'm sorry, I didn't. It's just making me laugh already. I don't know what you do. Smooth. Liza Minnelli's just amused by the look of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, Excuse uh, me. Yeah. So you're a chess specialist nurse? Yes. Right. Off you go with your story. OK, Graham. so I was in Goa on holiday, and I was lying there. <laughs> Uh, 
Fabulous yeah. horse, man. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Don't come on here showing off about your fancy holidays. Yeah. That was like my. I was in Goa. Were you? Yeah. yeah. Paid the price simply because you have impeccable comic timing. Yeah. I tell you, my first audition for Floyd the Red Menace. Yes. It was like that. I walked halfway across the stage, and George Abbott said, "Well, this is a waste of time." <laughs> Bob. <Bye. laughs> See, this is like showbiz. This is so showbiz, yeah. You're on the show, you're not on the show. You're on the show, you're not on the show. But I came back, so you come back. <laughs> and, <laughs> Hello. Hello. No, hey I have high hopes. I have high hopes. I have a gut feeling about this lady. What's your name? I'm Vicky. Vicky. And what do you do, Vicky? Sorry? What do you do? There's a lot of noise in the background. Sorry. <laughs> I say one nice thing, she's a diva. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Could, could people be quiet, please? <laughs> I mean, very hard. Uh, it's very difficult. I'm trying to do the red chair, everybody. Uh, just a little bit of hush. Thanks ever so. We'll try it again. So, what do you do? I'm a radiographer. She's a radiographer? Do you know I the know. chest specialist? <laughs> Other parts of the body. Okay, but you, know, you don't know that lady who just... No, no. I don't okay. know her, no. Okay. Where are you Sorry. from? You're, you're, are you from abroad? Well, I'm from Florida, but I live in northwest London. Northwest London? Where about, where about? <laughs> James wants to know whereabouts in northwest London. I live in Kilburn. Kilburn! Hey! Oh, they're loving Kilburn. <laughs> loving time Kilburn too. Oh, okay. Uh, you've got a lot, lot to live up to now. Uh, okay, off you go with your story. Right, so one day I was working, and I was working the night shift, and I had to get called down to the emergency room loving to this. do an abdomen and pelvis x ray Ooh. on a very young man. Uh, so I walk in with my little portable machine, and I asked him what was wrong, and he said, Oh, I'm having terrible abdominal pain in my lower abdomen and, and my pelvis. I said, okay, so I went and I started putting the film under him and I heard this buzzing. And I got really close, Hello. I heard this buzzing, and I realized that it was coming from his, inside his abdomen. And I thought, oh God, I think that's a vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know what one of them sounded like? <laughs> Phone. Could you tell the brand? <laughs> Do you want it removed or the batteries changed? <laughs> but, but, so what was it? Well, so I'm just finishing up the x-ray and the curtain opens with a big flourish and this very worried young woman comes in, out of breath, very, very worried, and she goes, oh my god, oh my god, are you okay, are you okay? And she gets very close, and she hears the buzzing, and she goes, Oh, for the love of Pete, not again! Well done, you! Well done, everyone. Uh, if you'd like to go to the show and have a go in the red chair, you can just contact us via our website at this address. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please thank my guests tonight, Mr. Jack D. <laughs> James McAvoy. <laughs> and the one and only, Liza Minnelli. <laughs> Join me next week with actor and comedian Simon Pegg. American X Factor judge Nicole Scherzinger and multi Oscar winning actor Tom Hanks. I'll see you here. Good night. Bye bye. Jim Carrey is Ace Ventura back with new animals, new adventures, but the same old hair when nature calls at 11.30. Before that, maybe your luck's in. The National Lottery Friday night draws coming up on BBC One. But if you want to be thrilled and scared and thoroughly entertained, be here tomorrow night at 20 to 7. It's a white-knuckle ride with Doctor Who.